Well, I know top-notch player. Top-notch player. And again, remember, he beat me, known as the world's best bride player. So he must be feeling himself really confident in this matchup. So we'll, we'll see what goes on. So again, looks like we're going to go into a button checks. I don't understand. There's no D for it. <laughs> but just to make sure, you know, this is... You don't want to be... a lot of money on the line. A lot of money is on the line. You know, it's more about money at this point. You want to be able to take home that title of being the EVO World Champion. That's right. And I think just being in the top eight puts you in that, you know, leverages your status in the community. Like, hey, I placed. You know, I did it. I was at EVO. I was, I was at, at top Evo. eight. All right, here we go. Well, we're about to get into it right now. Give it up for East Coast. Coast. This is it, baby. Make sure to turn up the TV, get a rocket. Top eight, missing naps versus Fab. About to, about to get it underway. One of the hypest matches that you will see in this top eight right now. Yeah, we're not coming. even up to our finals yet. Bob versus Brian. <coughs> oh, you can feel the tension, the calm before the storm. Jimmy always looks nervous, but he is always so clutch. Yes. Let's see how it goes. Robotic. All right, opens up the round with the rollback. NYC Fab gets the first hit. All right, right now playing really safe. Oh, wow, he's getting a lot of the down ones, catching Jimmy with a slight sidestep. Wow, good punish right there. Fab really on top of his game, and Jimmy just trying to find one oh. instance where he can find an opening. Unable to find it that round. It's perfect goes to Fab. Now, Jimmy, looks like he's just waking up right now. All right, he got some movement going on. You can see the complete different change of pace right there by Fab. Start of round one. Wow, one. what Quick a whip punish. punish. Holy With crap. With a wild standing two, and one of the harder things to do as a whip punish, but Fab really showing off his skill, and they understand his pacing. Oh, oh very nice. They can see. Missing that's his knowledge. They're trying to adapt to the wall combo. Oh, he punishment. almost out of there. That would have been a natural combo if he was close enough. Oh, one down four right there by Fab. Fab takes two rounds against Stun. Then Jimmy hits the dabs versus Fab. Counter hit. Gonna He's going to take him to the wall. Take him to the wall. On a max damage wall carry combo. Here's a big mix up. Maintains position. Jimmy's at a good place. Mr. the dabs. Now Bob again, one of the better matchups against uh, Brian. Able to put it close to Brian's stuff that most characters can't put it. Correct. Mr. Dabs answers back. Winning round three. But we just getting started. First hit goes to Mr. Nance. You can see a wow, I love seeing Fab change his gameplay style per round. Which right is really now. good because he becomes so unpredictable. Oh, nice sidestep there from Mr. Naps. A little too slow on the punch there. Brian with a lot of heavy, quick, heavy moves that take a lot of startup. Good float right there. Fab caught him. That's going to be it. First set goes to NYC Fab. Looks like NYC Fab's getting a little bit of coaching from his NYC comrades. But I think at that point, you know, when you're sitting up on stage, you don't hear anything else around you. You know, all you right. see is the TV, you get that tunnel vision. You want to kill the guy right there. You can't even hear people cheering for you. It's just like you focus just on the match itself. All you yeah. hear is the match volume. That's right. You know, when you're in tournament, you gotta, you gotta think red. You gotta think kill, kill, kill. Never shake a hand. Only after you win. Yes, after you kill them. After you kill. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mr. Dab's gonna have to do something right now. NYC tab up 1 0. Alright, so we got a breakable stage. Breakable stage is I feel work in Brian's favor as he does get another tech opportunity. It's a blockable setup. Yeah. When having break, you know, breakable stages. So I'm not sure. The same doesn't really go for Bob, but hopefully this works in Nats' favor. But right now, Fab's on top of it. Full combo. That's going to hurt. Nice block there. Fisherman slam. Goes the other way. Wow, great read right wow. there by such a, Nats. Such a great adjustment, too. Well, I don't Nats know if he wanted it. that. Interrupt the string. Oh, oh my god, he my rolls goodness. in front of him. Okay, so Fab right now, sitting pretty. <clears throat> Two more rounds and he'll be able to take the matchup. Unable oh. to break the sun. No break. Crap that streak. Nice punish there. Good punish. Another punish. Fab really turning it up, playing really solid in your face action. Kind of forcing this and that to just press buttons, get him out of there. Oh, he catches him with a 
back back four. A little bit too off axis there. Could have had the full combo. That's going to capitalize on this. Goes for the Oki. Nice roll there by Fab. So the counter and the toe kick to end it. Why get mad when I lose the toe kick? They have it for a So right. just like you said for Reinhardt, I think this is one of those two players who can come back just as easily from being down this quick. It really take, I think if he hits one taunt combo, he's going to get that confidence all back together. But I don't think Fab is giving him that space right now. No, definitely not. He has him against the wall, too. He's in very bad positioning. Oh, he almost caught him sidestepping. Fab made a mistake right there, putting himself against the wall against Brian. He's really dangerous. The down ones are here. And there you have it, folks. Great showing right there by NYC Fab. Just like you said, looks like the experience that he had with the 